Hey guys, welcome to Infestation the New Z. Today I'm going to show you how we can do the contracts for the Valentine's event. There are four contracts, two require collecting cookies, the other two is just purely killing zombies. When you click on the contract, it'll show you what rewards you'll get and what you actually have to collect of the various different kinds of cookies. The two zombie killing contracts don't actually show you when you click on them what you're supposed to do or what you're going to require but you require the rows which you get from killing the zombies as well as the cookies and the contracts the defender contract requires you to kill 25 zombies and the massacre contract requires you to kill 50 zombies and each give you a different amount of rewards um, for the kills you can only have five contracts on the go at any one time so if you look under your missions tab you'll see your contract if you have to abandon one of your missions, then abandon it to be able to do that or complete them before you go and do um, the contract. You can actually have both of the contracts running at the same time, say like the 25 zombie and the 50 zombie, and then claim your reward as soon as they're complete. You do not have to come back to the safe zone and the general store to claim those rewards. Uh, they will automatically go into your inventory or drop to the floor if you don't have any of the space. For the cookies contract, you need to get 20 of each of the cookies or for the contract you're doing and then bring them to the Blue Ridge safe zone. I'm currently here and the Blue Ridge safe zone is here on Colorado V1. So let's go take the helicopter to the uh, Blue Ridge safe zone. And then what we want to go to is we want to go to the general store and I'll show you how you cash in. I've already started the square heart contract. So what I'm going to do is I will go across here. We'll cash those in. I will then start the love heart cookie contract. I'll show you the fact that I've got them on my in my inventory. I'll drop them so that I can pick it up. So it will register that actually um, that I've found them or collected them. And then we'll cash those in and see what kind of rewards we get. If you like this video and you're finding it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and help grow the channel. So in Blue Ridge, you want to come to the general store. You don't go over to the guy. You go over to the vending machine. And then all you do is you print with the contract already finished. You just press and hold E and that gives it to them and you get the reward. So you end up getting XP, there are two different kinds of XP and you also end up getting like a skin crate. So then let's open the skin crate and then let's see uh, what I got. This was the defender contract so I ended up getting two skin crates. Then once you open the two skin crates you right click on it, you go learn skin if you've already learned it, it will prompt you. If you haven't learned it, it will disappear. And then you will then have learned that skin. Now I'm going to show you how you start the contract. So you right click on a contract, sign and start, and it will come into your contract lists. So when you come out of that contract, if you see to the right hand side, it shows I have zero off of 20 cookies, even though I have 32 in my inventory. So all I do is go in my inventory, drop them to the floor, pick them back up again and now it registers the fact that I've collected them. We then go over to the vending machine and we can cash that one in. Like I said you can have both contracts going together however you can only have five contracts on the go at any one time. Now I'm going to jump to the city again and I'm going to show you doing the 25 defender contract and the 50 massacre contract. You get the rewards instantaneously, you don't have to come back to the vending machine. Okay, so now we're going to do two more of the contracts. These are the ones the, the Valentine's Defender, which you have to kill 25 zombies using the rows, and the Valentine Massacre, where you have to kill 50 zombies using the rows. rows. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate both of them together. So then when I do the 50, I would have already done 25 of them. So we'll sign this to start it. Sign this to start it. 
Now we see our contracts on the right hand side. See the top right hand there says so uh, kill 50 zombies with a rose. If you use the less than, less than key or the comma key, you know, next to the M on my keyboard, it'll scroll through to the next your next uh, contract. So this is one of the other contracts I've already started. Another one I've started. So here's the 25. Then we've got the 50. So I'll have the 25 queued up just so I can see. Whip out my rows. You get the roses by uh, just killing the zombies in the first place. That's where you get all your the cookies and everything else from. So let's kill 25 of these with a rose. It's just like killing with a katana. It does the same 75 damage. So what I do is I just hit to this, the right of their ear. Put the crosshairs just to the right of the head. And then just time it right before they get a swing on you. And as you can see, the count has gone up to two in the minute out of the 50. So, so it's doing it from the 50, even though we're doing the 25. The difference between doing this one and doing the ones where we had to go back to the, um, the safe zone to cash in, as soon as you reach the amount, it automatically cashes it in, so you don't have to you don't have to go to um, anywhere to to get the reward. You'll get the experience and you'll get the crates just straight into your inventory if you've got the space. So we're, at, we're at five at the minute. I'll speed up the gameplay just so you don't have to sit and wait for me to try and find all 25 zombies. You know, sometimes they are around. Sometimes it's good to hoard them into one location to, before you start killing. You know, and with me speeding this up, you don't see the twice that I actually got hit by the zombies and started bleeding. Uh, so it makes me look good. And one more. We'll get us our 25. As you can see, there you go. So that mission was completed. So now we've also got 25 of the 50 mission. Nope, we better deal with my cut. And I got an infection. I did see an automatic weapon over here. Yeah, there you go. So, if I was to do another 25, let me just get out of the way uh, over here first and I'll uh, open the crate, get in the sunshine. So, what did we get? I already know that one, and I already know that one. Yeah, dump those. Save the massacre to do a, do another version. That's the one we're doing right now. So we've got another twenty-five to go uh, to complete the second one. And like I say, in the missions, so this would get me. Four crates, 120 cash, 800 XP, and um, account XP, 800, whatever that is. So let's fire another 25. You can do a couple of ways. So you can do the individual ones like I'm doing now. Or... If you've not got confidence in what you're doing this way, I'll show you down the bottom of here of what you can do. Various parts of the map, 
there's kind of like a, an invisible boundary that the zombies won't go past. That's uh, kind of the kind of the kind of the game advantage of if you're not a confident PvPer or you don't want to risk getting killed too much, but you want to get the reward, you can aggro the zombies, aggro the zombies and go to certain areas of the actual town. So it's usually on the outside of the outskirts of the town. Oop, not quite in the right place. Let's get rid of these first. Cookie. So like I say, you go to the outsk outskirts of the town. Let's kill this guy. You could aggro through there if you can find a vehicle. That's a that's a great advantage because you can make a lot of noise, and then they'll just follow you, and then you're gonna have the whole group of them follow you, and then you can pop them off one at a time. So I'll show you what I mean by there's like a boundary. So let's just aggro a few of these, and yeah, my stamina is not too bad. Let's get a handful of these aggroed. What I'm going to run, what I'm going to do is get to the boundary of the town that you're in. So what I'm doing is I'm looking down at the back of the bottom of the screen there. I'm trying to look for the shadow. You can hear the noise of them screaming and shouting. But I'm also looking for the shadow to see if they're still following me. Okay, I'm not hearing them following me anymore. So a quick turn around. Okay. So there. This is where the boundary is for those. So they get, this is the furthest that they'll come to. Nope. Nope. There. Must be like on a curve. So then you can approach. And then just pop them off. Yeah, they're running an individual, so. No. Worry. But that's what you can do. You can aggro a whole load of them. Get to the kind of boundary of the town. They just physically stop. So then if you had an automatic weapon or a weapon on you, you could use your bullets. But the fact, there you go, is a rose. But the fact that we have to kill them with a rose is the only reason why I aggro them. Or you just systematically pick them off one at a time. Yeah. If you want to hide the... Um, if you want to hide your... Uh, uh, contracts, you just press the letter L and it'll hide them off the screen. So if you want more screen visibility. So what do we got to get? We got to get another, get another 9 to fully complete all the contracts. I'll speed the gameplay up again just so you don't have to wait for the last few to be killed and then we'll get right to the point of where I uh, Claim the next reward. Oh, and I leveled up as well. Just make sure we've got no one else around me. And then we'll check the crate and what prints did we get.
Okay. So, okay, we already know that one. Already know that one. Already know that one. Didn't know that one. So yeah, so just to go over that again, if it's Defender, it's 25 zombies you've got to kill. If it's the Massacre, then it's 50 zombies you've got to kill. But as you can see, it's not difficult to, to do it. And then there's a Defender one. So I'll do that. And I'll do another Massacre. So all I've got to do now is do the usual 25 and 50. Rinse and repeat. Keep getting the XP and the rewards. And then get a handful more. Um, skins for my uh, my weapons. Now, if you don't already know how to apply the skin, if you go into the inventory, you right click on your weapon, you've got set skin. So if you know the skin, you'll see it here. So let me just take my SVD, uh, my Mosin for um, an example. So if I go to my here and if I say remove skin, it'll put it back to a a regular Mosin, if I want to apply the skin, set the skin, and then when I pull out when I pull out the Mosin, it's gonna be in the skin. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you want me to see and learn anything else, let me know. And if I know, I'll make a video for you. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff. And consider liking and subscribing.